Hey guys, welcome back, Morphologists here. Tonight we're going to be talking about a really cool new mod created by M Master. Say you've got a ship, or you've got a station, and there might be a chance that it could become decompressed in the future. Well, I've got a mod for you, or rather M Master does, because he is the creator of this awesome script. Say it decompresses suddenly because a ship ran into your docking bay. Well, fear no more, because this script will actually lock down the decompressed section and then open up the other sections that are still okay and without holes. That means that you'll still be able to access the rest of your station, but only the section that needs repair will be locked down and okay, and you won't lose your oxygen. But say you're in a fight and you don't know which section's been decompressed. Well, the script will tell you on an LCD screen exactly which section has no oxygen in it, so you know what to do and how to react. Here to talk to me about his script himself is M Master, aka Matt. Please welcome Matt. How you doing? I'm fine. Hello there. Hey, uh, first of all, I just want to say I'm a huge fan. Your scripts are amazing, especially the one you did for LCD readouts that's on the workshop. By the way, it will be in the info section of this video if you're interested. It's amazing. And also, this this new one that you've created is even more amazing. I've got a few questions for, for you, though, about it because I'm not sure on everything. First and foremost, how many rooms can it handle? It can handle any number of rooms. That's awesome, but what about size? How big can the ship be? It can be any size. It was specifically made for big ships and stations. That's really cool. Uh, that must have taken you a while. <laughs> How about mods? Can I can I use mods uh, with this script? Absolutely. You can use it with any mod you want. And uh, finally, I, I got one more question for you. It's programming. I don't know how to program myself, and I don't think a lot of people do. Uh, do I need to know programming to use the script? No, you don't need to know any programming at all. It's easily set up only through block groups that you already have in-game. So how do you install this into your ship or station? Well, it's actually pretty simple. All you need are two objects in your toolbar. You need the timer block and the programming block. Once you have them on your toolbar, find a location on your ship or station and place down your programming block first. I placed it here because this is the most convenient location for me. It may be different for you. After you've placed it, go up to the control panel and press K. Inside of that, find your edit button, hit edit, go to Browse Workshop on the lower right hand corner, and find your script from the Browse Workshop option. If you've already downloaded, it will be here on the list of scripts. Once it's downloaded and inside of that list, simply click it, hit OK, and then it will appear on your screen. On the top end of this is all of the basic guides that you will need to install it on your station. But later in the video, we'll go over how to do it step by step. For now, let's hit remember and exit. After we've done this, the programming block is almost ready to work for the smart lockdown. However, we now need to activate it using the timer block. So let's exit out of here, find the timer block, place it somewhere on the station. It doesn't have to be right next to it, but in my case it is because it's simple and easy to do. After that, go into the options of your timer block by going to the control panel and pressing K. Then go into Setup Actions and find the timer block that you've just placed. Once you've located it, drag and drop it down to the bar and select Run. After that, we need to add in the timer block that we've also added in order to ensure that the script will continually update. Drag and drop that down to the bar and also select Start. The final step is to drag the delay down to one second. The script can recognize it that quickly. So after you've done that, hit start and the script should be ready and running. After you've got the script up and running with the timer block, we've got to do one more thing. In order to get this to work in your ship or station, you will need to put all of the items that you want to perform actions into some select groups in order for the script to recognize it. When creating these groups, make sure that you create them exactly as I've shown here, case sensitive. Everything after the colon, though, is the name of the section that you want to show up on the LCDs. So for the first group, O2 LCDs must display exactly as you see here. Every LCD that you want to display oxygen information in your ship or station hooked up to the script must be placed in this group. After that is O2 section close. This is where you put all your doors to the exterior, including your airlocks. These are the kinds of doors that you want to remain closed so as to not decompress the station by door. The next is your O2 section dim. This is where you put all of your ceiling lights inside of your section. Finally, the most important group is O2 section. This is where you're gonna add all of your air vents in that section, all of your doors that connect to that section that you want to close in the event of a decompression, as well as your warning lights and your sound block. 
Once all of those have been placed inside of this group, the script will automatically recognize them and activate them accordingly when that area has been decompressed. And that's all you need in order to get this script to work. It's pretty darn easy. Well, that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching, and a special thanks to Matt for joining me tonight on my video. It's been great. Also, be sure to check out the info section of the video again so you can download this for yourself. It will be uploaded to the workshop. And once again, thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.